Hello there internet, welcome to another video here on Loot Crate Times on Passage of Skin. We got one surprise, extra Loot Crate. Unexpected, unneeded. Oh, doing that after me, be silly man. Giving people your address. I'm gonna have to cut to the light on that one. Um, right, this is a Loot Crate. This is a mystery Loot Crate that was purchased at New Year's and as I just received it, or I just received it a little bit late. Uh, shipping for uh, international crates to the UK have been a little bit of a problem lately, so uh, To be honest, I'm not too upset by it, but it's a little bit annoying that I have to wait longer for these to arrive it means that you guys don't get to see them as fast and um, Of course, I don't get to be the first person to open them, but because this is a mystery crate Nobody got exactly what I got in this one. I'm pretty sure this is all the kibble and bits and stuff that was left over from other crates that actually got uh, thrown into this one so any duplicates that are in this is free and available to anybody who comments in the video underneath this. So if there's anything in this crate that you know I already have, comment underneath, say that I saw you get that, and you'll be able to claim it off of me. See, this is how we work. This is how the gifts work on this channel. I get something that I don't need, you get to have it. All you have to do is tell me. So what's inside this crate? Let's find out. Open it goes. Okay, so what we actually have is a summon crate. Um, Summon was a crate that actually came out before I started collecting the crates. So let's take a look at what we have inside it. Hearthstone, the squeezy ball. Is this actually a stress reliever? That's what I think it is. It's a stress relieving squeezy ball. Squeezy ball. Squeeze. 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 I feel less stressed already. Okay, moving on to the next one. Next item is... Ooh. Spider socks, spider socks, does whatever spider socks do. Keep your feet warm and clean. Spider socks, spider socks, oh yeah! Here comes some Marvel spiders. Marvel spider socks on your feet. It's a Loot Crate exclusive! Nice, okay. Socks, what else can you say? I like socks. I like socks and I'm a dog. I like socks. Don't judge me! Okay, what else is in here? Oh, okay. Well, we know what this is. I already have one hanging on to my belt chain. So this is going to be the first gift item out of this box. So if you feel like you want to have a Microsoft chip, a Microsoft chip. Yeah, I just said you saying Microsoft is Cyberdyne. Uh, a memory chip from a T1, I don't know, T100 was it? That actually this one's from? Uh, this one here, this Terminator. If you want one of these to actually have hanging from your belt, make sure to comment in the thread underneath and say that I want this and specifically what it is that you want. Okay, what else do we have in here? Hex bug. Oh, this is kind of cute. Is this like a little kind of like jittering bug that can run around your floor? I could actually use this to scare the shit out of my own family. Hmm, that's like a good plan to me. Well, essentially, it's just, it is literally just a wee battery operated bug. Yeah, kind of creepy. I like it. The high energy flipping robotic creature. High energy robotic flipping creature. Well, this is the scarab. I'll give this a wee try out at some point. See what it looks like. And what's next? Ooh, ba da dum bum ba da dum bum ba da dum bum ba da dum bum. Oh, it's a USB 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 item that can hold on. To data, to data, to data, to data. It's an emblem from Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. It's a USB and it'll hold data, da da da, hold data, hold data. Yes. Right. That's going to be impossible to actually plug into most things that I own. I do like, I like custom USBs, I like they're kind of cute, I don't know what the data capacity is in this, it doesn't tell me. Does it say on the actual box? Yeah, official HBO licensed product. I'm going to have to plug this in to find out how much data is on it, and to plug it in, I'm going to have to find a port that allows this kind of edge to be around the bottom of it. Oh, cute. I know I'm going to need to use this. I'm going to, do you know what I'm going to use this for? I'm going to use this for updating my PlayStation. That's what I'll use it for, taking offline uploads. Alright, what's the next thing? Ooh, more Marvel stuffs. Marble shoelaces. Nice. Well, can big pair of shoelaces. These are cute, adorable. Um, has 
all Avengers on it? Is it? Is it random Avengers that are on this thread of it? Or is it like covers? I think it might be actually literally this bit that's up here at the top that's actually just printed over and over again on the shoelaces. But that's cool. Um, I do own, I own a pair of DC Converse that I want to put these with shoelaces on. Aha! And I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a cross-platform pair of shoes. Okay, what is this? This is a lanyard holder. Okay, I'm assuming this must be a part of something else. Let's see. What is this? EFX Collectibles Marvel? Agent of Shield. Oh, what is in here? Come on, open, open, open. Oh, really? The sticker does not want to come off. Okay, let's try a different tactic. Tear, tear, tear. It's out. Oh, there we go. Now we got access to the contents of the thing. What is this? Uh, so, collectibles of some sort. Okay. Oh, ah, see, now the lanyard makes sense. Cool. Uh, proper Africa. Agent Shield, uh. Login card. Alright. I can like that. Yeah, okay. I can actually dress up as a member of Agents of Shield. Have that hanging from my neck at the next con. I think I'm going to be keeping hold of that one. Nice. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, that was everything that was inside our crate. So guys, how's it going? Welcome to the wide angle. There's not really anything big in this crate to use the wide angle camera for, so it's just you want to get to see me now at this point. Just uh, taking the thing apart and folding it into its uh, other design. So yeah, uh, this was a mystery crate. They did a they did this essentially clear out their stock from last year at New Year's. And um, to be honest, I was kind of hoping there would be a shirt on it, but... Um, I think they specifically stated that there was going to be no shirts in this crate uh, when people were like, uh, ordering it. Because the, Most of the reason why is because they've got um, a new loot t-shirt crate thing that they're doing which uh, means that any loot crates that actually have spare shirts left over will probably get dropped into that to kind of um, supplement the contents, you know what I mean? Well, anything that actually isn't um, t-shirt worthy or you know, like the end of the t-shirt crate, or it can't be reused in any other crates, or they don't do, I uh, don't have enough to make full gift crates of, then they'll probably do something like this again, where they just uh, clear out old stock, which is all right, that's probably fine. I mean, they have, probably have leftovers of designs of a lot of these. They have to order them in a certain number of bulk to actually get them made in the first place at a reasonable price. So to profit from the leftovers is a perfectly fine thing to do. And to be honest, um, I was nice to get a crate that I didn't actually order. Uh, the bits and pieces that were inside the crate are okay. They, um, I'm not disconcerted by the kind of weirdness of the randomness of the contents that went into the crate. The everything from the hexabug to the Marvel socks, I'm cool with. Um, I'm not. The Hearthstone is a game that I've just never really got into playing, uh, mostly because uh, TCGs go bad for me because I used to play Magic the Gathering and it's kind of like, buy all of the cards. But um, Hearthstone, I'm just not good at it. Uh, good enough at it to actually get the cards for nothing. And then I'm at a competitive disadvantage. Socks, Marvel socks, happy days. I do like Marvel socks. I do already own a pair of Hulk and Thor socks. Now I have Spider-Man ones. Ah, it's good to actually build the collection and increase it. The, uh, the Julius. Yeah, right. The, the, everything in this box is random shit. It's, it's, a, it's the bits and pieces that... Um, other that they had spares of. Uh, this is the one thing that actually is annoying me. I hate uh, custom USBs for the fact that they tend to actually try to impregnate the actual USB dongly bit in a position that you can't use it on 70 to 80 percent of things. Or if you do use it, you can't use it with anything else because it blocks the other nearby USB ports. That drives me around the bend. If they'd gone to the bother of putting like a little USB extender cable on it. Uh, that would have solved a problem and I wouldn't have been pissed off about it. But otherwise, yeah, it's, it's cool shit. So, if, feel free to actually throw a comment on the video underneath if you want this particular thing posted off to you. It's just a little um, keychain dongle thing, but I already have one. So if you like, comment, subscribe, and say, I want this underneath the video, it's all yours. First person to it gets the toy, right? So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.